Today I'm going to tell you a story about Pastor Don. I could probably tell a couple stories about Pastor Don. Uh, Don is a retired, retired pastor uh, from around the area, and I don't know if he'll ever actually retire. Uh, like the day or two days after he retired, he gave me a call and wanted to get involved out here. And I had not heard from him prior to this call. Uh, I had written him. His church had supported us. I had called and said thank you so many times. Never actually talked to him over like four years. Um, but I get a call asking if he can help out in some way out here. And since then, he's been out here typically twice a week <laughs> helping us with different things. And so this man uh, is kind of some of the students refer to him as Grandpa Don, uh, or as Pastor Don, but uh, he uh, he's just been an awesome figure in so many guys' lives. Um, he's You could see him at football games when there was a football program out here. You could see him at almost all of the home basketball games. Um, and he just really supported these students. Uh, at the beginning of the school year, uh, a few years, he would have the whole basketball team out to his uh, house and take them boating and take them swimming and skiing and tubing and uh, just really try to connect with these young men. Uh, he would also, there was a period of time, uh, one semester, where he just set up a sign-up list for people. Sign up, first come, first serve, meet us on a Wednesday at Pizza Ranch, we'll buy. And so he would take four young men out every week uh, to Pizza Ranch, him and his wife. Um, and it was just phenomenal how generous this man has been uh, with his time, with his resources, and how much he loves these students and cares for these students. Um, you will most commonly find Don around here uh, <laughs> on a typical year with a uh, a wash rag in his hand, wiping down tables, or over at our drink station filling up waters and juices for students. Um, just an absolute servant, absolute blessing. Um, you don't hear him complain about a thing. Um, one of the cool stories I have about him, they're all cool stories when you're talking about Pastor Don, but one of the cool stories I have about him is I was driving to the airport with a car full of guys. I had four guys plus me in my vehicle and all their stuff. And I was already on my way. And I had three students that also needed to get to the airport that called me while I was on my way. And so I gave Pastor Don a call. And the guy brought these guys, these other students to the airport. Um, just broke away from his schedule and just did this. Um, and that's... That's essentially five hours out of your day that you're just giving uh, to them. So you're, you're driving to go pick them up, probably closer to six almost for him, for driving to Wilmer, then driving to the airport, then driving back. But the guy is just an absolute generous man with his time, his resources, and his life. So just can't say enough good things about the people that have volunteered and helped me out over the years, um, helped these students out over the years, and the heart they have for both uh, what they profess to believe in God and then also uh, how they execute that in loving uh, the students and community out here at Ridgewater. So thanks for listening to the story. I got a million more because uh, there's so many great people out here that have helped us out over the years. So thank you for listening. God bless.